Nereocystis luitkiana. This giant kelp plant is known by its long stalk and its single bulbous bladder that's actually filled with gas so it can float. Okay, I know, I just called this thing a plant, but it is a protist, a separate kingdom of life from plants. It's actually more closely related to algae and can grow up to 60 feet or even larger. This is an annual seaweed, so it can grow from a spore to maturity within a single year. Bull kelp dies back in the winter, so it would be very difficult to find any fresh edible portions within that season. You should be able to find these washed up on the beach in late spring, throughout the summer, and during the fall season as well. So bull kelp is gigantic, and it can grow up to two feet per day. It also really enjoys the colder climates, and it has no problem being in these rougher waters. Okay, so can you eat it? Yes, you can eat it, and people love to pickle this stuff. You can eat the entire stalk-like thing that I'm holding right here. You can eat the bulb right there, and you can eat those whip-like blades on the end right there. Many people do eat seaweed raw, and I don't think there's much wrong with doing that. I wouldn't necessarily eat it raw, except for maybe in a survival situation where I really had to. If I don't have to do that, I will prepare it just like any other meal that I would eat. And what you can do is slice down this rope-like structure into thin rings, if you would like. And you can fry those, or you could dry them. Again, you could pickle this. If I were to eat it raw, I may put it in a salad of some sort with maybe a cream base and some noodles, if I really wanted to get fancy. Or you could just straight up boil this and eat it, if you would like. Bull kelp is high in protein and dietary fiber, and it also contains nutrients and micronutrients, such as potassium, magnesium, iodine, and m many others, actually. And here's the trick for any foraging of this. You can tell it's fresh if you pick it up and give it a nice squeeze. And when you bend it, if it snaps, it's fresh, it's good to eat. If there's any play in that or rubberiness, I may throw it back at that point. Here's the amazing thing about foraging kelp. Once you find some, you find a lot of it. And so if you do find yourself in a situation where you're hungry, you won't be hungry anymore. One of the other things you can do, and what I would suggest to do, is peel off the outer layer of that stipe, and that will give you access to better parts of this foraging food. And I hope all is well with you, and that this video helped in some way. Do what's right, and stay safe.